So my name is Reverend Flight Lieutenant Cole. Uh, my mm -hmm. first name is Mandeep, Mandeep Cole, uh, and I'm the chaplain in the Royal Air Force. I'm a reservist. And my role entails basically providing a ministry wherever the service personnel are. Uh, and we are here to work with the members of Royal Air Force in all situations uh, to support them pastorally, morally, spiritually, or something else that might come up. So we, we work with the members of Royal Air Force. My name is Siobhan Bramley, and I've been in the Air Force for 30 plus years now. Um, I joined as a weapons technician, which was something that was a little bit different for a woman to do. But I really enjoyed my role. It was really, I'm really lucky to have a job that I enjoy that doesn't feel like a job. It just feels like having fun. Um, and then I decided to move into recruiting because I wanted other people to share the experiences that I've had and to let people know a little bit more about what it's all about. What did I most enjoy about my career in the RAF and what have been some of my notable career highlights to date? So I had this opportunity um, while I was actually in training to go and contribute um, at Westminster Abbey in the service for RAF 100. And uh, soon after that, I had opportunity to go to Albert Hall, Westminster Abbey, um, uh, sorry, Westminster Abbey before for RAF 100, but Albert Hall for Remembrance Service. And how it became a um, highlight for me was uh, first, they, they've never seen um, a Sikh, uh, a female with a turban, uh, providing that service. And I think that was very emotional for me. To be at that service is emotional anyway, but then for me to be in that position and feeling that um, I'm getting closer to my mission and vision, it was immense, uh, profound for me. But then one day after that, I was sitting in the Gurdwara, um, uh, and when you go to the Gurdwara, you get a free meal. Those who have been there, you can sit there in the in the kitchen and you are given um, the, the langar, we call it, the meal, if you wish to partake it. And on one of the evenings, I was just sitting there with my kids uh, after uh, a school day finished. And a woman came to me, I don't know her, and she said, um, I just wanted to say thank you to you. And I said, okay, thank you, but what for? And she said, we saw you on, uh, on TV um, from Albert Hall. And her daughter, who's been really introvert, lack of confidence, and also having issues with her own identity, she said, looking at you, doing what you did there, gave her such a boost. And she all of a sudden said to her mother, can a, can a Sikh woman in Turban do this? Is it even possible? And there were tears in, in the eyes of her mother. And I thought, okay, something done, job done. If, if that thing, the whole event inspired uh, a young girl growing up to be who she wants to be, then I think, yeah. And this is how that, that thing became really highlight for me, that you're able to provide something uh, beyond your own circle to the invisible world as well and how they take it. I have to say on the fun side, um, I got the opportunity to do bobsleigh and I've been on the Olympic track at Lillehammer and that was an amazing career highlight to be able to do something like that. It cost me about £150 to go to Norway and go down the Olympic track and absolutely amazing. I think after so many years, I've got so many different, different highlights. I didn't, I left school quite early, so I didn't do a lot in education. Um, and I did my degree when I was in my 40s. And the RAF paid for most of it, so that allowed me a really great opportunity to actually, I felt, prove to myself that actually my qualifications, that what I can achieve is so much higher than I, I thought it could be, and being able to do that was really special to me in what was a very difficult year. What are your future aspirations in the Royal Air Force and why? I think I'm actually thinking about retiring. That's my future aspiration. <laughs> Retire early on my RAF pension. That would be great. <laughs> but, um, at the moment, we're at the 
area that I'm working in in particular that's really close to my heart is to see more women in the RAF in engineering roles, you know, um, roles that people perceive that women shouldn't do. In fact, even more, more women in chaplaincy, more female lawyers in the RAF, you know, to see more women saying, I've got this and I can do this and knowing that the opportunity is there for them to do whatever they want to do. So to see more women do that, that's really my, my aspiration. What one piece of advice would you give your younger selves knowing what you know now? I don't really think I'd change much about my life. As Mandeep says, everything happens for a reason, you know, everything that you do, sometimes those negative things that you might perceive as negative turn into positives. So there's never anything that I think you should look back and say, oh, if only I'd have done this differently. Because if you did that differently, maybe you wouldn't have had the experience that you had, which was actually, actually really, really good. What words of advice would you give a fellow female looking to join the RAF today? Push the barriers. Yeah, keep going. If this is where you want to be, then nobody can stop you uh, from doing it. And also, along with pushing the barriers, um, breaking the, the ceilings or, or whatever else, you take charge of your own self. Do not depend on others that somebody will come and support you in this journey or um, help you. If that comes, that's a bonus. Yeah, but as soon as you start helping yourself, you will see that everything around you is helping you as well. So make your way into it. I don't think you could have said that any better. To be honest, Mandy, you know, just do what you want to do. Don't let anybody stop you. Go for it and go for it with your whole heart, your whole being, because it's what you want. And then you will get there. And the best person to rely on is yourself because that's the person that you really know. That's the person that can get you where you want to be more than anybody else out there. So yeah, I wholeheartedly agree with you.